DT02 Smart Thermometer is coming. Support to measure temperature of soldering iron tips, hot air rework stations, surface of heating station and liquids. Two channels operate individually. It adopts a 4.2V18650 model 3500 mAh lithium-ion rechargeable battery. No need to connect to a power supply. Appearance. We can see there are four buttons on the upper right corner of the device. Respectively are plus, minus, set and ESC buttons. Below is a 2.4-inch screen. The thermocouple is on the lower left corner, which is used to measure the temperature of soldering tips. The upper right corner is a temperature testing bracket for hot air rework stations. On the left side of the device is the interface for temperature sensor. On the left side of the back is the air outlet of the temperature testing bracket for hot air rework stations. Pay attention to avoid scalding or damaging objects behind the device during use. On the upper right side is a Type-C interface, which is used to charge the device or transmit data. At the bottom of the device are four pads. The black area allows for battery replacement. Main interface. Press the ESC button to turn on the device. We can see that on the top bar of the main interface, it respectively shows boot time, battery capacity, Wi-Fi and buzzer. There are two channels on the lower side. Channel 1 represents the thermocouple on the left. Channel 2 represents the temperature testing bracket for hot air rework station on the right. The large number in the middle represents the current temperature of the device being tested. Press the plus or minus button to select channel 1 or channel 2. The max above represents the maximum temperature value of the selected channel. The MIN represents the minimum temperature value of the selected channel. The AVG means the average temperature value of the selected channel. The S time below means the time at which the measurement begins. N time means the time at which the measurement ends. Temp means the set temperature that needs to be reached. Press set button to enter the curve interface of the current channel. Press set again to back to the main interface. Soldering tip measurement. Here we prepared a T413 integrated smart soldering station. Matches with T2254 and one smart soldering handle and C150 soldering tip. Set the temperature as 300 degrees Celsius. Select channel 1 for the thermometer. Then add some tin in the middle of the thermocouple to increase the contact area between the soldering tip and the thermocouple so that the measurement would be more accurate. Then put the soldering tip in the middle of the thermocouple. Currently, the actual temperature of the soldering tip is 303 degrees Celsius. 3 degrees Celsius higher than the set temperature. Back to the soldering station. Long press the set button to enter the settings interface. Select temperature. Select compensate. Minus three. Back to the main interface. Then put the soldering tip in the middle of the thermocouple again. Now the temperature of the soldering tip and the soldering station is the same. Temperature calibration done. Temperature measurement for hot air rework station. Here we prepared an H310D hot air rework station. Long press the menu button of the device. Enter the expanded applications. Select temperature calibration. Place the air outlet of H310D into the temperature testing bracket for hot air rework station. Prepare a double end type C cable. Connect the two devices. After connection, H310D starts temperature calibration automatically. The device is calibrated at different temperature stages sequentially. After the calibration, the temperature will be checked automatically. After checking the calibration would be done.
it shows fail we need to calibrate it again. Settings Interface Long press the set button to enter the settings interface. The first one is Language. You can choose Chinese, English or Russian. Press ESC to go back. The second one is Sound. You can turn it on or off. After turning off, the device will enter mute mode. The third one is Wi-Fi. You can turn it on or off. Select Set Wi-Fi. Scan the QR code with WeChat to enter the mini program. Select Product Info. Select Eisen Assistant and enter the mini program. Back to the device. Select Device Info. Find the serial number of the device. Back to the mini program, find the corresponding serial number of the device. Click Connect, enter Wi-Fi password. Click Send, then it can connect with Wi-Fi. Connect with Wi-Fi successfully. The fourth is Temp. The first one is Soap. You can set a float range for the temperature to be tested. The second one is Measure. You can set the tested temperature. That means you can measure the time it takes for a device or object to reach the tested temperature. The third one is Units. You can choose Celsius or Fahrenheit. The fifth is Reset. You can reset the device to factory settings. The sixth is Screen. The first is Brightness. You can set the screen brightness. The second one is Sleep On. After turning it on, the device automatically enters standby mode when it reaches the set time. Press the ESC button to exit standby mode. The third one is Sleep Off. After turning it off, the device will not enter the standby mode automatically. The seventh is Check Update. When a new version is released, you can upgrade the device to the latest version offline. The eighth one is Device Info. It includes the device name, software version, serial number, etc. Software Upgrade Connect the device to computer with a Type-C cable. Open ISIN software. When a new version is updated in the future, select on the version you need, then click Upgrade to upgrade to the latest version. Turn off the device. Above is the full operation video of DT02 Smart Thermometer. To learn more about ISIN products and software updates, please follow ISIN YouTube channel ISIN or official website www.ison.com.